Welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous tutorial, we set up uh, our level manager, which we can use to control um, the respawning of the player. So before, uh, if we have a look at our code, we have we had a uh, player controller script. So we've got this player controller script, and we detect when uh, the Basically, we detect when the player hits a checkpoint and we update the respawn point to the position of their last checkpoint. And then when we detect when they fall off um, a platform or fall off the world and hit the fall detector. And before what we're doing was we were saying to respawn or set the position of the player back to um, their last um, checkpoint or the respawn point here. But what we're doing now is we've created a level manager script which has inside it a respawn method. And basically we access um, this script. So we say game level dot manager. We access that script and we access um, the respawn point method and call that method so that it runs this code here inside the method. And this script here is also accessing the um, player controller script. So in both scripts we've got uh, in this script, we've got the player controller being accessed, and in this script, we've got the um, level manager being used as well. So we've just got a new script that's going to be responsible for respawning um, or setting the player to the respawn, respawn point. And what we're actually going to do with this script now is use it to create a delay in respawning so that the um, player will uh, fall off the map uh, and then just sort of pause for two seconds or three seconds and then respawn to the last checkpoint. So it's just a bit of a delay. All right. Now, what we could do is inside this respawn method, we could go and set a delay. Um, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to create what's called a coroutine that allows us to, dis to delay the player from respawning without pausing the rest of the code without pausing everything else that's going on inside the code and delaying other things and potentially causing the game to crash or things just to on the timeline to um, mess up. So for example, if we have the an enemy in this game doing something or maybe we have a timer running and different things happening in the background, we don't want to delay all of those things as well and pause all of those things while we're waiting for um, the respawn delay to end. Okay, so we can create a coroutine that can do its own thing at the same time along the side, um, alongside everything else that's happening. Okay, so let's go to the respawn method, um, and actually underneath the respawn method, and we're going to create um, a kind of another method, but this, instead of saying public void, we're going to say public IE, IE um, uppercase, I enumerator. So we're going to create an I enumerator. And then we're going to say respawn. We're going to call it respawn coroutine. So what we're doing is creating a coroutine, but we're not saying public coroutine, we're saying public I enumerator, which is um, just what it's called in Unity. So public I enumerator, respawn coroutine, open and close bracket and then we'll add our curly brackets as well. Okay, so now in the respawn coroutine, we can move all of the code from the respawn method. So we can copy or cut all of this code here. So right click it and cut this code and paste it here in the I enumerator. All right, so move all of that code from the respawn method to the respawn coroutine. And then what we can do is we can call the um, respawn coroutine from the respawn method by typing in start coroutine and then in brackets and double quotes, the name of this respawn coroutine, which is respawn coroutine. So we can just copy and paste that in there close those double quotes and bracket and add a, a semicolon there. All right, so basically what's happening is um, the player controller script 
here, when we um, fall off the map or fall off the platform and hit the fall, det fall detector, we're calling the respawn method inside the game level manager script. So this method here is called. But then what the respawn method does is it's going to start the coroutine called respawn coroutine, which is down here, and it's going to start running the code in here. So instead of just um, kind of calling the respawn method and running the delay inside that and pausing everything else and like um, stopping everything else from happening at the same time, it's going to call the coroutine which will run alongside and do its thing while everything else is still happening in the game. Okay, so now that we've called the coroutine and started that running, we can go and add the delay inside the coroutine. All right, and to add the delay, it's actually really easy, only one line of code. What we'll do is um, firstly, we'll set the um, player to, we'll say set active false, so the player's um, kind of disabled, and we'll say yield return new wait for seconds so what this is doing is it's setting a delay and then in brackets um, we can specify as a float how many seconds we want to delay this so we could say 2f if we wanted to just delay the uh, respawn by two seconds but we've actually already created a variable called respawn delay up here a float variable so we can just mention the respawn delay variable in there close the brackets and end that uh, semicolon, end that line there with a semicolon. And now we can just um, say, well, let's delay the respawn, let's wait for a few seconds and we'll um, wait for however many seconds we specify in the respawn delay variable, which we haven't done yet, okay? We'll do that in just a moment. All right, and then so we'll wait for how many ever seconds we specify and then it will um, respawn the player, set them back to the respawn point, and then it will enable the player object again, say set active true. All right, so all that we need to do now is save that code. And if we go back to Unity and go to the level manager, what we see here now is respawn delay, and we can specify here how many seconds we want to um, delay the respawn. So it could be one second, two seconds, um, three seconds. I might just set it to two seconds to see how that works. We can also see the game player object um, here as well, which says none. We don't actually need to specify the game player object here because that's already done in the um, code here. Okay, so where we've got uh, find object of type player controller, it's going to access the game um, or the player object from the script um, which is attached to the player object. So we don't actually need to specify that there. And when we run the game and click on play, you'll actually notice as soon as the game starts running, it already sets the game player um, there to player. All right, so it does it for us. Okay, the respawn delay is set to two. So now that the game's running, let's actually test that out. And let's go to the first checkpoint. And now let's fall, it'll wait two seconds, and then respawn, okay? So there we have a two second delay before respawning. Which is great, so what we can do now is if we're in a complicated part of the game, and this game is pretty simple at the moment, so we haven't actually got many platforms or obstacles or things set up, but if we uh, were running along in the game and then we jumped and missed the next um, bit of ground, we have a couple of seconds to kind of work out what went wrong and how we could go and fix it up. And so maybe instead of jumping from this platform, we can go down here and just jump from there and make it across. All right, so that's why you might want to add um, a bit of a delay to respawning. Another reason why you might want to add a delay to respawning is that when you fall, you can have a couple of seconds there to maybe display a message up on the screen, like um, just a message saying uh, you did this wrong or um, try again, or maybe health being taken off or a little animation or something like that. So 
we have a bit of time there to display something on screen if we wanted to. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Um, and that's it for working with the um, respawn um, method and the um, coroutine. So in the next few tutorials, we'll be looking at a few different things like working with sound, working with scoring and help, and uh, working with um, the user interface and adding some more objects to the game. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.